To look at Chelsea today, you'd never guess her owners were once just a phone call away from having the lovable Labrador put down. Without warning, she suddenly became paralysed. Dr Barry Hindmarch and his groundbreaking work with acupuncture was Chelsea's last chance. We came to Barry's, in fact I phoned him for days and begged him to see her, he was very busy and then we, he squeezed us in and we carried Chelsea in here and she had the same treatment as she had now and um, she got up and walked out. Acupuncture often shows results within just a few visits. Chelsea's owner, Sally Dunn, is a qualified physiotherapist, but even she was surprised by how successful the acupuncture was. It's been miraculous. To me, I, I think if we hadn't found Barry, we would have actually had to put her down. And as you can see, she's absolutely fine, just except for the back lip. And the pain's not there anymore. She has no pain at all. Um, we've just come back from holiday and she was climbing up 15 stairs. Chelsea still undergoes regular acupuncture sessions and is continuing okay. to improve. What I'm feeling for is for muscle spasm and I'm looking for pain and tenderness. But the comparison when Chelsea first came in, there was just so much spasm in her back. And at the moment this feels really, really good. There's one or two areas that I can feel, but for the majority of it, her spine just feels uh, so much better. She doesn't mind this treatment at all. She, she knows Barry, we, you know, she knows his name, we say we're going to Barry, and she gets out as you saw. Chelsea's remarkable recovery means she's once again an active member of the family, even helping with the fetching and carrying. Chelsea, Eric and Barty the Bunny all share another recovery secret. One that heals on wheels, their purpose-built carts. It's made out of some aluminium piping, some plumbing fittings, some Velcro, little wheels from model aeroplanes. And uh, she gets very mobile in this particular cart. Just put her in the cart. There we go, sweetie. Initially, when we first started putting her in the cart, she didn't like it, but that is really relatively obvious. Most animals uh, wouldn't take to it too kindly. And again, her whole action from being an animal that would hop around, now, you know, she was having to change her whole mechanism of, of walking. When he is starting to, to move now, you can see his little back leg starting to actually walk around. He'll swim in his cart, he'll go to tearing down the beach, into waves, uh, over rocks, downstairs. Tearing, he's, he's just a big hearted dog, I mean, he's, he's, he's a wolf found in, 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 in interdaction clothing, I think. There's no doubt the animals enjoy the fun and freedom of their own set of wheels, but the carts also play a therapeutic role. It's, it's made it much more positive and, and happier, and it's, it really has helped him hand because he was actually suffering from a lot of depression before we brought him here. And then, um, of course, Barry got, got me onto the carts and we, we knocked together the cart for him, and uh, that's, that's where he is today. You're such a good girl, Chelsea. <laughs> And this, of course, enables the muscles to also build up. So it's also part of therapy in trying to help build up the strength of her muscles and maintain the muscle strength there so the muscles don't end up shrinking. How much is the dog in the window? Oh, she's so happy. Oh, she's so happy. In the next programme, the world of animal allies returns when doctors at the Perth Zoo implant microchips into baby red Nepalese pandas. And in Turkey, flesh-eating fish cure chronic skin conditions. There are ways to make it